Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie and I am a domestic wannabe and right now I am doing the Fly Lady zone cleaning from zone 1 to zone 5 and documenting my journey along the way. Day 14 started with us actually taking a trip to Costco where I did get those fruit containers that are on the counter. I just have them waiting. I unpackaged them and um, have them waiting to go in the dishwasher to give them a try. I'm pretty excited to check them out. They were on sale at Costco for about for less than $25 for the four piece set and um, I have other fruit and vegetable containers and they were quite a bit more expensive and I, I really do want to see if there is a difference in how well they keep fruits and veggies so they were just waiting to go into the dishwasher so day 14 zone 3 again I am back in the laundry room and Every day I'm in the laundry room, I keep trying to catch up on, well, laundry. And like I, like I had mentioned, there's two of us that do laundry. So you can see every, every day it changes on what is in this room. But one of the things, because every day I've been starting a load of laundry, and what I actually wanted to do was clean out the washer itself. So... Um, I started by cleaning the door and then thought, oh, I'll just grab a, con you know, I'll just grab some multi-purpose spray and uh, get to work on cleaning this gasket and get to work to cleaning this gasket. Now my spray bottle stopped spraying. So I, I grabbed a brush and then I grabbed, I just dumped some of the multi-purpose cleaner on it and immediately regretted my decision to start cleaning this because it was disgusting. Absolutely hands down disgusting and I went to get a garbage bag right away because I realized this was going to be a dirtier job than I thought and I really regretted not finding some cleaning gloves um and just going at this you know free-handed so that this brush came in really handy I got the brush at the Dollar Tree it it works really well for this kind of stuff uh, and for a buck I hate to be wasteful but I'm comfortable tossing this kind of thing after a cleaning like this or throwing it in the in the washing machine itself and letting it go through and get cleaned but it was gross I did not realize how I didn't think our gasket I think it's a gasket I did not think it would be this dirty and it was absolutely disgusting so if you haven't if you have front loading washer and you have not wiped this down in a while uh, go grab some old rags and give it a go because you will be surprised it's pretty gross uh, now one other thing just because I've done this for years and years with my front load is I never leave the door closed when it's not in use it's always wide open and I think that is a reason we don't have like mildew smelling clothes um when we bought our first front load dryer or washer, that was what was recommended to us. And it's just always worked really well for us. I, it did mislead me to think that my washer was cleaner than it actually was. Now, believe it or not, that only took like five minutes of my 15 minutes. So back to the office is where I went. And I decided to continue working on the desktop because one of the fly lady tasks is to just tidy the desktop and clear it of all paperwork and clear it of all debris so that is why i'm back in here getting this desk on this desktop completely cleared off so the one thing we know from this experience is all the pens in that pencil holder work you know so i've got that going for me so far in zone three <laughs> a clean front loading washer and pens that work and it, I did decide as I was sitting there that I did not need two vases of flowers. Now, these flowers are actually from my wedding. So they are, oh gosh, 11 years old. And these were centerpiece flowers. So I had just, you know, bundled them together. And I think, I think they're beautiful. I've definitely gotten the mileage out of buying them for the wedding. So um, they're my favorite colors. So I'm, I'm happy to have them still a part of my office. So I just got them rewrapped and then I got rid of that second um, vase. And looking at it, I might have to get rid of those orange, orange flowers and just keep the pink, but we'll see. Day 
day 15 brought me right back to the office where I left off continuing to work in this desk area. But instead of on top of the desktop area, I moved to underneath where I have a bin full of filing and miscellaneous paperwork and scrapbooking stuff. So I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with the amount of scrapbooking stuff I have. I don't think I have a whole lot, but I got to decide if I'm actually going to do it or if I'm just going to um, not do it. It's something I enjoy. So it's it's hard to make that call when you just don't have the time necessarily. So it's something I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what I can do and where I could store this stuff if I keep it. Once I finished my 15 minutes in the office, I did move up to the kitchen. I started making dinner and forced myself to do some dishes. I tell you, once the dishes get overloaded and you've got a sink full, it can be so unmotivating. So I think I was kind of trying to put it off. You can see I'm actually playing in the background there with my son. <laughs> he must have been chasing. So while I made dinner, which was a homemade Alfredo sauce, uh, Alfredo pasta, which is absolutely delicious, by the way, I decided to work on those dishes. So I got to work. There you have it. We are officially halfway through our zone cleaning. I am definitely seeing some progress being made. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here for a while, I just appreciate your support so much. Thanks so much and I'll see you tomorrow.